Man, oh man, the NVIDIA 4090 card cannot catch a break this year. Remember just this past summer when the 4090 was having problems when the board was catching on fire due to a fault connection in the power cord. Yes, that did happen this past summer. It would suck if you was to drop anywhere from what, 1500 to what, $3,000, depending on where you got it from, and to have something like that happen, or to have any other type of problem that will cause your board to be unrepairable, unusable, but just within the last day or so, we are getting reports of something else happening to the 4090 cards. Take a look here. Great, now GPUs are cracking. I don't like the title of this article, but this article does do a job of breaking down the problem with the, with the uh, video card. The 4090, the card itself, the PCB, the board itself is actually cracking in half. Basically, it's unusable if that happens. And we're going to get into why that is happening, as well as some solutions that can actually solve this problem. But before we dive into that, if you're new to this channel and enjoy the type of content, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and drop a like button as well. All right, let's dive into this article. Uh, this is out of Digital Trends. Um, NVIDIA's RTX 4090 is the best graphic cards out there, no questions asked, but it is the most, but is it the most reliable? Various reports tell us that it might not be, and today's news is on a larger scale. A repair guru received a whopping 19 broken RTX 4090s, most of them with cracked PCBs. What's the cause behind this issue? It should, and should you be worried about this happening to other GPUs? Uh, the Grim Report comes from a YouTuber and repair professional, Northridge Fix. A customer sent in 19 graphics cards in need of repair. And after inspecting each one, Northridge Fix deemed most of them as impractical to repair, all due to the, all due to the cracked PCB. Um, you would think that a small crack can easily be repaired, but it's not as simple as gluing it all back together. Uh, GPU as powerful and as massive as the RTX 4090 is a lot more complex than it might appear to be on the surface. Uh, its PCB is usually made up of 12 to 15 layers, each with countless electrical traces. Even if the surface level damage doesn't seem bad, those traces still need to be connected once again. As the Northridge explains, there's no guarantee that it'll be this, it'll be worth the time and money. So yeah, so even if you said that crack on the surface, the cart itself, the actual board, there's different layers in there, 12 to 15 layers that actually make up that layer, that thin layer. So if something goes wrong in any of those layers, again, it's going to be not worth it to fix it. You know, according to this uh, repair guru here, it's just not worth it. And man, that would suck to have your car deemed unrepairable after dropping down that amount of money for something like this. Uh, can it be done? Yes, but it's not practical. It's not economical. And there's no guarantee that this problem will not happen again after repair, said the YouTuber. Um, discarding the cracked cards one by one. Why does this even happen? There are a few theories, but the main one is that the RTX 4090 is simply a very heavy GPU, taking up four slots. It's more of a hefty brick than a graphics card in terms of weight and size. Adding an additional support can help in the cases where you don't want to rely on the card to sit tight with the card to sit tight without it. A card of the size of the 4090 almost requires a GPU support bracket, but it doesn't always come included in the box. Aside from the lack of support, the GPU could have been installed in a system and then sent to the customer as part of the PC. So even if it was installed properly, a rough time in transit could have displaced and caused crack. Yeah, so think about it. If you're, you know, you know how you, your packages, the shipping company, they throw them on the back of the truck, they move them around, slide them in. All that jostling around is going to actually force the the computer and the components on the inside and, and this one here to just wiggle just so slightly. And then over time, that could, you know, cause something like this to happen. Considering that it's stabilizing on that one piece of that PCI slot that goes into the one slot in your motherboard, you know, that, that seems to be what the problem is right here. Northridge Fix also wondered how a single customer even came to own 19 damage NVIDIA 40, 40, 40, 90 graphics cards, which are getting increased expenses. I don't know. It could be, he could be maybe GPU farming, maybe, you know, doing some crypto mining, or he probably bought them um, damaged 
think he could, you know, get one or two of them to work and then sell them. I don't know. It, 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 who who knows? Uh, we've already heard our fair share of reports about the issues with the 4090, but so far most of them concern the, the power connector. When improperly installed, the connector might melt, when improperly installed, excuse me, might melt, rendering the GPU unusable. Despite various adapters and fixes, the issue still seems to occur from time to time. However, GPUs Northridge fix expected didn't suffer from this problem and were instead mostly plagued by other issues. All right, so here, let's go over here. I'm not going to play the whole YouTube video, but you could just see right here that right there in the middle of the screen, right above is the ASUS logo here. You can see that crack right there. You know, that would cause a problem with there. Just that little crack right there it makes the GPU just basically unusable. I'm going to scroll up through here. Let's just go through some more. Uh, again, right there. Look at that that nasty crack right there. So these, these all, they mostly were all ASUS and Gigabit. You can see here, just that crack right there. This is just unusable at that point. So, man, that would totally suck to have that type of problem or issue with a car after spending thousands of dollars. Again, here, I think this one is pointing to a crack here. But yeah, so you can actually just go and watch this video here. I'll make sure to link that down in the description, as well as the articles as well. They'll be linked down in the description. You can go through that and just watch this video as he opens up 19 boxes and just discards most of them as unfixable. There was about a handful that he said he could try to work with, but overall, not good situation for this particular customer who sent in 19 of them, expecting that hopefully he could, you know, salvage a few of them, but it doesn't look good for him. But back to the 4090 itself, like I said, we talked, what is the problem? It's definitely the weight. And having something that huge to take up that many slots it does uh needs the support of a kickstand but like in the article there it said it doesn't always come in the box so i went and looked uh, this is not an asus or a a um, gigabit card this is a zotac but it's the 4090 and i just wanted to see what was in the box and it does say a gpu support stand right here so here's the thing if the gpu stand is included in the box then I don't know what is the route for the customer at this point, because if they are not using it according to manufacturer standards or manufacturer specifications, they really do not, pardon the pun, have a leg to stand on in this situation here, because they are not using it properly. So yes, it sucks. I would hate to be on the end of that, but if you did not use it properly according to what the manufacturer stated, you are at fault for this. And I don't know if, you know, in the, in ASUS or whoever, the manufacturer will have to repair it for you or send you one, you know, free of cost or even at a discounted cost because you did not use it the correct way. Again, it sucks. Um, but if the, again, if it's coming with the stand, you're the one that's responsible for using it in the correct way. So it would suck to be that person whose graphics card is cracking and it doesn't work. But I mean, you don't have a leg to stand on in this situation. I'm sorry to say, but that, that would suck so bad. But it, it comes down to reading instructions, using it the way that, you know, it's intended to to be used. And I know for a fact that the Asus Rock Strix um, does come with the stand. It doesn't say it on their, their Amazon page. I looked, it doesn't say, it just says GPU and manual, but I saw a, an a unboxing of this and it definitely does come with the stand. So if it comes with it, there's really not much that you can do as a customer. I mean, you were pretty much out of luck because you didn't install it properly. But again, that was up. So let's talk about, you know, other solutions for this. What could be done about this? Uh, from the manufacturer standpoint, considering that this card is so beefy and it's actually spanning four slots, it would make sense to actually have more slots on the board itself so it can start in the motherboard in two to four different slots. So instead of having it stabilized on one, just have that card, have it have four slots so you can just stick it in there and take up all four of those slots or two to four slots, depending on if you're a PCI 
uh, slots are the same, then you should be able to do that. They all have the same speed, then you should be able to do that. But if not, at least two of them, you should be able to put in. That way you can distribute the weight a little bit more and it'll give it more stability. So that all falls back on the manufacturer. They are giving you the stand, but I think another way to remedy that is to, you already are making those slots unusable to begin with. So just actually add those four or two to four slots on the card itself. That way they can just stick inside the motherboard, motherboard like that and just be more stable that way. So I think that is a definite solution that the manufacturers can go about and remedy this situation so they don't have this problem going into the future. As for the customer, use it the right way. You know, put the kickstand on there if you can. I mean, you you you, have, you should. We I don't even think there's an option. You make sure you put the kickstand in there some kind of way or jerry rig your your motherboard and GPU card some kind of way to make sure that it's going to stay and, and have that support because you do not want this happening and spending two thousand plus dollars on this car and it's unusable because it's cracked oh that would suck major but yeah but let me know what your thoughts are down below do you think the manufacturers at fault or do you think the customers at fault let me know who you think should be the blame and what do you think should be the solution for this i already gave you my solution but let me know down in the comment sections what you think once again thank you for taking the time out to watch this video if you enjoyed this video and this type of content, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And chances are, if you enjoyed this video, somebody in your family or your friends may enjoy this as well. So share this with them. Also, if you want to stay up to date with today's tech news, head over to sound30.com where I curate and aggregate tech news from across the web covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more tech news, all at the website, sound30.com. Until next video, guys, stay nerdy.